We cruelly treat thousands of horses here in Canada, packing them in crates, shipping them live to Japan so they can be turned into a luxury sushi. Here's what you can do to help. Currently, the Canadian government is being petitioned and they actually campaigned on this promise to end the live shipping of horses to be used for horse meat. Without getting into the ethics of eating horses for food, which I don't understand at all, there's no way we should be condoning shipping horses live, packed in crates. Clearly, this is a practice that needs to end. Most of these horses that are shipped live to Japan most of them are actually raised here in Western Canada on horse feedlots. Animals in feedlots, they're poorly cared for. It's a horrible way to raise any animal, especially a horse. Horses, as opposed to cows, they have very different temperaments. They panic easily. They have strong fight or flight instincts and they have especially sensitive hearing. So then we're taking these animals, which are not sedated in any way, we're confining them to these small crates and then we're flying them in planes, packed into these tiny crates with no form of sedation. Most of the time they have no food, they'll have no water. We're flying them over 24 hours to Japan. Then once these horses get to Japan, they go into another feedlot to get even fatter. The horses are then forced to go into slaughterhouses where they may or may not be humanely slaughtered to then be turned into horse sushi. I can't believe that we as a country or allowing this to happen. And as an aside, it's illegal to do this in the US. So some US farmers, what they're now doing is shipping their horses to Canada, where then these horses can be packed in airplanes and shipped off to Japan. According to Humane Society International, Canadian transport standards of animals are among some of the worst in the industrialized world. Clearly this is something that needs to end and our government needs to act on its promise. I'll put a link to the petitions in the description box below. One other is the petition on change.org. Any of you on the YouTube channel can sign that. Every signature helps. Secondarily, for those of you in Canada, I'll put a link to the petition to the House Commons site where they're petitioning the Minister of Agriculture to halt the live export of horses for slaughter, essentially asking the governing party to abide by the promises that they've made. Thanks for watching and I encourage you to sign the petition. It's Dr. Jones.